Problems over here in the United Kingdom for the former health minister and sitting MP Matt Hancock, who's now decided to go into the very, very lucrative I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, alongside a royal associate and the former rugby player Mike Tyndall. But who's really getting the bigger treatment and more importantly, the bigger paycheck? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to see you today as ever. Yes, this is a big, big story, in fact, because Matt Hancock, as many people know around the world, was our British health minister during the COVID-19 pandemic terrible situation that many said he made a lot of mistakes for. Personally, I like to see both sides of the coin and would say, did anybody or would anybody have truly have known how to deal with such a mass pandemic uh, seemingly coming from nowhere overnight you know there are two sides as ever to every story sadly for mr hancock though he had to resign from his position having been caught out in a disgraceful pose by tabloid newspaper sting but now he's decided while still remaining a sitting mp picking up over eighty thousand pounds a year to go into the i'm a celebrity get me out of here tv show the reality show that also stars that's right the husband of zara Tyndall. Uh, she is, of course, the daughter of the Princess Royal, Princess Anne. A lot of speculation as to how well he will do, naturally. What's interesting here, though, is before uh, Mr. Hancock was announced, all eyes were on Mike Tyndall. After all, he was the biggest signing, you know. But now there are bigger problems, simply because, <laughs> and if you work this out, you'll understand exactly what I mean. You know, Mr. Hancock going in there has created problems simply because he's now not available to be sitting for and as a member of the British Parliament. That is a big concern. But more importantly, he's rumoured to be picking up around about £350,000 for his stint, whether he stays in there for the long run or the short run. A lot of people, of course, are saying they're going to vote him in for the grisly uh, sort of trials and things that they have to do in order to win stars for food. I've only seenly, fleetingly seen this program. It's not really my kind of entertainment. And I don't mean that in a snobby sort of way, but you know, ooh, all of those creepy crawlies, not for me. Do you know what I'm saying? I prefer to be entertained, not watching people try not to be sick on television. Not a great look. But now I've been told that there are bigger problems for Mr. Hancock because ITV, the makers, are going to have to bring in extra security to make sure that he's protected while in the jungle. Not from the creepy crawlies, but actually from other cast members who may have a beef or indeed an axe to grind towards him. One in particular is already very upset about his arrival within the show, as one can understand. What's interesting here, though, is as I say, even if they do remove him, he gets the full fee regardless. His reasons for going in apparently are he'd like to explain himself and let the British people and the worldwide public see that actually what he tried to do and what he hoped to achieve wasn't necessarily always the right thing, but he's not really the bad cop that he's now being painted out to be. More importantly though, ITV were keen to snap him up, simply because the Labour-loving channel hoped that this would be the very final nail in the Conservative Party coffin and this current government to try and bring them down. That's the real reason why Mr Hancock has been given such a generous fee, but more importantly, into the show. Make no mistake of that. As ever, it's always political. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.